Eruption may end today, and there is a reason for that. When we look at the earthquake charts, this is the map of the Reykjanes Peninsula, and the concentration of the earthquakes in that area of the Swartz Single Volcanic System has been small compared to what we have seen in the past. Even the harmonic tremors we are seeing is just needle shaped, it's just like a needle cuts through the earth and just erupts and extends. This is what happened last night. We had this extension and then the lava flew toward the south and slightly toward the west and north. We were trying to close the gaps in the east uh, defensive wall of the Grindavik, but it invaded. The lava invaded the north in the Sortsengi and covered the road. And now today we are seeing that the eruption has reduced significantly. This is in line with the pattern we have seen over the past eruptions. Since the December and then January and February eruptions and the failed eruption in the early March, we saw a decline in the number of the tremors and the intensity of them. And as we go through this uh, today's uh, and yesterday's chart, we can see that it's reduced. Again, the numbers of the swarms of the earthquakes the number of the earthquakes above a certain number in half an hour is reduced over time from December to the March which we are now. If we follow this trend, you may expect that the eruptions end by the uh, middle to late summer. Meteorological Office of Iceland believes that this will not be the case. And we may have the eruption going on. There is no sign for this. And I think that if it is that the case, it may extend to the 2029, 30, and 31, uh, this uh, upheaval of the source and volcanic system. Having said that, it seems that for today, the eruption is going to finish at the most by the Monday.